What's up everybody? I'm Vitru and today is Thursday and that means we've got a fresh new set of events for the game. Also, we got three new ninja that were added to the game so stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll cover them and kind of show you guys how they all work. But anyway, uh, if you guys didn't see my live stream and you were wondering, I didn't have power or internet since Saturday because of the hurricane that hit down here when Hurricane Irma kind of screwed this whole area up. So because of that, I wasn't able to make videos. I finally got power and internet back, so we're back in business. Missed all you guys. It's good to see you all. All right, so first and foremost, um, actually, let me say real quick, there is going to be a battle armor rebate this week. Uh, I don't think that it actually starts until either Sunday or Monday. I can't remember which one, but there will be a battle armor rebate, so save your battle armor. Try and stock that up between now and whenever it starts on Sunday or Monday so that you can get the next level rewards. All right, so this treasure of the sage, you guys probably know how this works. Um, so as you do instances, you're going to get up to a max of five keys per day. When you use those keys, you're going to get one of these rewards for free automatically. Okay, then uh, you're going to get discounts on items that show up. So you get at most 50% discount on purification and purification protection runes, 40% discount on. Uh, and so this is at most. So it can be 10, 20, 30, or for these, up to 40, okay? Uh, Dango, Seal Scroll, Common Scroll, yeah, 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 uh, down here. Okay, so we got Jiraiya Sage Mode, Orochimaru, Konoha's Trader, Darwi, Edith Tensei, Haku, uh, and then a bunch of Magitama, and then discount of at most 30% on Awesome Windblade, Shikamaru, Makeout Paradise, Aruka, The Masked Man, and Jonin Minato. So both the Masked Man and Joni Minato are going to be in this event. Um, with you can get a maximum of a thirty percent discount on their fragments. So if you have you know a decent amount of their fragments and you're trying to stock up on them and eventually piece them together, this might be a good place to uh, to buy them if you get that thirty percent discount. Then we got this Konoha gift shop here. Um, so this was here last week, I believe, but they changed what was in it. So now. Uh, and the daily special, so these daily ones, you have a limit that's going to refresh every day. So you see you got one here, like five here. So we got level five Rainbow Magitama, level two Rainbow Magitama. We've got this Runes Packet Lucky Pack. Um, so it's going to give you 50 Unbound Rune Packets. And then uh, you randomly get something else um, based on what the random drop says at the bottom there. Deluxe Key Pack. It's going to give you 200 keys and then a um, cave keys and then a random level or uh, level four Magitama or 100 coupons, which would be pretty nice. Uh, we also have a cave key exploration rebate. So if you're trying to get you know the most out of that rebate, this might be a good option for you right here. Then we also have the lucky key pack. This is ingots only. Uh, it's going to give you 10 cave keys and then either 10 coupons, a seal scroll, or um, a cave key. So if you get a seal scroll, that's actually like a really good value there. Um, however, you probably won't get a seal scroll that often. Limited sales. Uh, so these are you can only get a, like yeah whatever this number is total throughout the whole event. So we've got the two different uh, outfits here. We've got Hashirama's skill breakthrough books, making him an absolute beast, and we got this special charms material pack for a thousand coupons. You can get ten of each of the charms. Right? Okay. Now we've got the time limited shop here, and as you can see already. Here's two of the new ninja. Uh, so the, the new ninja are actually going to be the cloud ninja. So we've got Omo, or yeah, Omoi, Samoi, and then A, the third Raikage. So the, the A that we already have in the game, his dad. Okay, the, the third Raikage, not the fourth Raikage. Um, but I believe he's considered an Ido Tensei ninja. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. Uh, yeah, so by completing plot in elite instances, you will get points, uh, and by spending 10 ingots per day, you might get a point. So every time you spend 10 ingots, you have the possibility of getting a point. Uh, and by logging in, you get one point. So you can see I already have one point here. I haven't used my stamina yet. But anyway, we've got Omoi Fragments and Samoi Fragments for 10 apiece. We've got um, Summoning Scroll for 14. We've got Naruto Ninetale Chakra at 80. He's always super expensive to get his chakra in this. We've got the summon contracts for two, and then we've got the advanced thread for 13. Again, I would say don't spend um, any of your points for this on the summon contract unless it's the last day and you only have like two left because you can get those here in the redemption shop uh, for your group points right there. So don't waste your, your 
Or was my hero? Don't waste uh, your points on this for that. Try and either get, if you want power, start stocking up on your advanced thread. Or if you want to piece together one of these two Cloud Ninja, um, start getting them. They're only 10 fragments per piece, so I would I would say, you know, it's not a bad, that's not a bad thing to do to start trying to piece them together. So then we have the crazy slot machine. I believe this was here last week, but maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. But um, so first prize is going to be a the fourth Raikage fragments of eight, so you get all eighty of them. This uh, actually has a lot to do with the new Cloud Ninja being introduced, and I'll kind of talk about why that is when I go over those Ninja. But a the third the fourth Raikage synergizes really well with the new Cloud Ninja as he uh, obviously should. So we get this Jonian Metal Renewal. So if you decide to activate a Jonian Metal during this event, it's going to cost you a thousand ingots less, and um, you get yeah you get fifty percent of the of the ingots back as coupons. So it actually technically costs you like nine hundred and ninety nine um, because you end up getting nine hundred ninety nine coupons back. So you're kind of like just exchanging from ingots to coupons, but. If your Jonian Metal is running out anytime soon, this, now would be a good time if you want to renew it to renew it. Now we have the Miyaboku Trial. Hands down, the best free-to-play event in this entire game. Alright, so here we go. The login guest. Every day you get to claim something for free. And as you can see, they actually have skill books in here now. So these are Naruto skill books. So here we go. If you log in on September 17th, you've got... Uh, Naruto Shadow Clone Jutsu, and if you log in on September 20th, you've got Naruto Giant Rasengan. So you get skill books for free. You don't have to spend his fragments to get the books. You just get them through this event. So I'll claim that there. Then we've got the Miyoboku Trial. Now, if you didn't see my video last time on how this works, okay? So you have to hit it in the perfect every time. And I'm probably going to miss one. Okay, so if you miss like this, you have to flip to the other side. If you hit again right here and you don't get a perfect, it'll be over. By flipping to the other side, let's see if I can get it this time. Okay, so I missed again because the game's kind of lagging a little bit. It resets it back to the nor the middle. Very important that you do that, that you flip sides. Game's super laggy right now. Okay, but it's really important that you flip sides because then you can pretty much do this until you get all of it. There we go. Um, so yeah, really, really important. Make sure you do that because then you're going to get these 20 coupons for free. You're going to get all these rewards, three cave keys, purification protection rune, two uh, small stamina potion, and then 20 coupons. You can do this three times per day. That's 60 free coupons that you should get every single day this week. No exception. You should not miss this one time if you do that strategy like I showed you. That's why this is by far the best free-to-play event in the entire the entire game. You get the login, plus you get the Miyoboku trial. Then, here we go. We got the Wheel of Offering. So this is not free. However, for the first spin, every spin uh, costs more, either ingots or coupons. Every single time, so this is going to reset every day. Uh, every time you spin it, one of these rewards is going to get, you're going to get it and it will be removed from the board. So if you decided to spin all eight times, you get all eight of these rewards. We've got Purification Breakthrough Pill, Rainbow uh, Magitama, we got Tactics Optional Page, we got Charms Material Pack, three of them. Then we got Level 5 Rainbow Magitama, five Gengetsu Fragments, Level 6 Magitama, eight Gengetsu Fragments. For 100 coupons, okay, the first spin of every day is always guaranteed to be worth the 100 coupons. So I'm going to do that right now. We'll see what I get. What I mean by that is no matter what you get on this board, for 100 coupons, you're, at, you're going to be getting a discount. So there we go. I just got 10 tactics pages of whatever one I choose for 100 coupons. No matter what you get on this board for that first spin, because you see now it's 300, so it's no longer guaranteed to be a discount. But no matter what you get on that first spin, if you can afford to spend 100 coupons, it's always worth it. I always recommend that you do this. Okay, You get a huge discount. Daily Packs is always here. Cave key uh, exploration. So, as you draw your cave keys, you're going to get time limited cave keys. So, at 50, you get 10, 200, you get 25, and 5 purification runes. Then we got 30, and then we got purification and purification protection runes. 35, 
uh, 10 and 10 and a level 4 attack Magitama. 40, 12, 12, level 5 uh, life Magitama. Also, every 50, you get to explore this up here, okay? So when you explore this, you have a chance of getting either level 4, excuse me, rune pack, that's for the summon runes, coins, cave keys, purification rune, purification protection rune, bond scroll, which would suck, summoning scroll, or if you get the jackpot, you get this uh, level 5 rainbow magic tamla, right? So if you have a bunch of cave keys saved up, use them during this week. Make sure you're drawing and make sure you're claiming these rewards as well. And that's everything. Like I said, there's also going to be... Oh, we got to do the Kanoha Great Tree. There's also going to be a, um, a Battle Armor rebate. So. so we've got the Kanoha Great Tree is back. Now every day you get one free. As you can see, I already used that um, here. So I have these two here because... So with your... Your world. Every time somebody draws in this, the world tree in your server um, levels up. So you can see we're already at level one. We're 317 of the way into level two, right? So I already claimed these two free dew drops. Um, you also can get your dew drops from. Pray for it. Coins higher level. World tree. Uh, maybe they're not. Are they not giving out dewdrops this way? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, by doing survival trial, you get two dewdrops. By participating by participating in the arena twice, you'll get two dewdrops. And by participating in um, the team instance twice, you'll get two dewdrops. You can also, if you buy daily packs, you'll get three dewdrops. But, eh, you know, whatever. So you can get up to six free dewdrops per day, plus your one free spin um and then i got the two from claiming this right here so every time you you do this i'm gonna spend my, one of my dew drops you get one of these items that are here right now okay so i just got cave key first time i got dongo so we'll do it again and i got cave key again so there we go that's pretty awesome every time you do this your tree will level up as well as the world tree you can see now it's at 319 it was at 317 as your tree levels up, you have more and better rewards to claim. Okay? So at this point, you can see you got a nice little, it's a full bloom now. So we got Hokage, or um, yeah, fifth Hokage, Tsunade. We've got the fourth Raikage A. And then seven is as high as it'll go. And you start getting higher and higher rewards for your fortune coins as well. The fortune coins are used here in the fortune shop. And now we've got A, the third Raikage. This is how you will get his um, his fragments this week. Now, very important, I want to tell you, this is super expensive, 55. If you want to get A, okay, you should probably want to get A. A is a beast. However, unless you need him this week, unless you are you don't mind recharging a whole bunch of coupons and getting him this week, I highly recommend that you wait until the cloud treasure gets released or until there is a, a better event um, to get him in. I do not recommend trying to get A through this event, okay? It's going to be super, super expensive. Uh, I don't personally feel that it'll be worth it unless you are somebody that is okay with recharging large amounts of, uh, of money into the game. If you are, by all means, get him this week. He's a beast. He's awesome. Uh, otherwise, I would say definitely wait until the cloud treasure gets released. Don't know when that will be, um, but I, this is not your best option of getting him this week. We also have Sailor Sakura. We've got fragments for the summer break outfit. We've got Hanzo fragments, mood scroll, and then refinement rune optional pack, which is a new thing. Uh, so you can choose to either get six basic refinement runes, three medium, or two advanced. So that's pretty cool. You can get two advanced refinement runes. Um, there, which is probably what I'm going to do for that 20 right there. Then, as you get uh, total points as you use as you use this down here, you get your total points. Um, you can start to claim these. So, if you get 50, you get a seal scroll for free. 100, you start getting fortune coins. Um, down at 500, you get Kushina. Her uh, 30 fragments, so you get her at two star. 800, you get Red Chakra Rune. And then um, level five rune pack, and then at a thousand you get a purification breakthrough pill and a level five magic demo. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, this video is kind of been taking a while, but anyway, 
we're finally on to the most important part. Three new ninja. So, first and foremost, we've got Samui. Samui is the support kind of character of um, of the, these these three cloud ninjas. So, mystery skill causes tag jutsu damage to a selected unit, and the unit will cover or suffer from tag and interruption. That's kind of good. She causes interruption. However, she doesn't start a chase with her mystery, which kind of kind of sucks a little bit. Standard attack. Attacks the unit's front row and has a chance of causing knockdown. Nothing special there. Chase. Chases and attacks a knockdown unit. Causes low float and tag. Can be triggered twice each round. So you can kind of see a little bit of a, of a, of a thing developing here. We've got tag on our mystery. We've got tag on our chase. Her passive recovers 15 chakra points every time a hidden cloud unit uses a standard attack. And then her final passive, at the beginning of a battle, all hidden cloud units in your lineup will be given a shield based on 50% of this unit's resistance base attribute. Their ninjutsu and attack will also be increased by 30%. So that's pretty big. She is a 50% shield to all cloud units, and she increases their ninjutsu and attack by 30%, which is a, you know, a good amount. Lasts for three rounds. So she is the support character... For the Cloud Ninja, she causes tag with her mystery and her chase. That definitely helps out if you want to use A. So we got Omoi. Omoi is kind of like an attack tank, sort of. Um, so his mystery generates a shield to two random sword users on your team based on 20% of this unit's base resistance. It will also cancel all debuffs and make them immune to debuffs until the end of the round. That would really help if, uh, if the third Raikage was a sword user. Or the fourth Raikage, but unfortunately neither of them are, so Omoi's uh, can't generate a shield for them. Standard attack attacks a random opponent's unit and causes this unit to suffer from tag. <clears throat> also a high chance uh, of causing the unit to suffer from repulse. So he's got a high chance of starting a combo with his basic attack um, causing repulse, and he also causes tag with his standard attack. Then we have uh, his chase. Chase's attacks low float causes high float and if he gets his chase off he gets to use an extra standard attack so he can attack um, twice per turn with that his passive has a high chance of evading one mystery skill per turn and then his second passive uh, he's got the shadow clone jutsu at the beginning of a battle summons two shadow clones with attributes based on this unit all shadow clones are capable of using his standard attack um, which causes tag and has a high chance of causing a repulse so he can shield his own shadow clones. All right, so keep that in mind. Last but not least, we have the beast himself, A, the third Raikage. So, mystery. Causes lightning attribute damage and tag to a line of units. So that's a full line, okay? That's um, everybody that's, like, sitting. So it would be, it'd be like, this, uh, the top line. So, like, Roshi, if I had somebody here, and my water main, okay? Um, so it's a line of units, uh, and the selected unit will also suffer from repulse. So he causes tag to a whole line, um, causes repulse to whichever unit you select. And that's, that's a pretty beast mystery. Standard attack attacks the unit's row, er, opponent's unit in the front row and causes these units to suffer from tag. So he also causes tag with the standard attack, also has a chance of causing repulse. His first chase. Chases and attacks repulsed, which he can cause with his mystery. Uh, causes high float and paralysis can be triggered twice each round. Then he's got his second chase, his Liger Bomb. Chases and attacks high float, causes knockdown, and immobile. So he has an immobilize in his chase, which is super good. He's got a total of three chases. Pretty awesome. Finally, his uh, passive, he's immune to low float, high float, repulse, and knockdown. So he's got super armor. Uh, your unit will increase its attack and ninjutsu. Oh, th this is like really weirdly worded, so bear with me. Your unit will increase its attack and ninjutsu by 1% and will also increase its defense by 2% for each extra chakra points over each one chakra point you possess. So what I'm assuming that means, okay, is every, ch every point of chakra that you have, okay? So if you have 50 chakra, his attack and ninjutsu will be increased by 50%, and his defense will be increased by 100%. If you've got 100 chakra, attack and ninjutsu will be increased by 100%, defense will be increased by 200%. So 
So this guy is a beast. If you pair him with A, the fourth Raikage, you're going to have an unstoppable team right there. So what I'm what I'm initially picturing with this stuff, right? So you got Samui as your support character. Go with the lightning main to go with the lightning attribute uh, boosts to boost everybody there. Samui is going to give a shield to A and to both A's. And uh, she's also going to increase both of their ninjutsu and attack by 30%. Uh, every time that one of these three does a standard attack, you're going to get 15 chakra points back, which is going to buff A. Uh, this The third Raikage A is going to get more attack, more ninjutsu, and more defense. So having a lot of ninja, or, um, having a lot of chakra all the time really helps out from uh, Samui here. Um... Yeah, so A and Samui, the third Raikage and Samui are going to be causing a whole bunch of tag. And the fourth Raikage is going to be able to use his um, his lateral bolt of pain, the one that does a whole bunch of damage all the time. Because the whole enemy team is going to be uh, suffer from tag pretty much the entire game. Also, the fourth Raikage here, he attacks four times uh, with his mystery skill, which means Samui can give you 60 chakra in the first round there. So you got you make A go first. He uses um, his four attacks. That gives you 60. Then you have probably A, the third Raikage go next. So he already has a 60% boost to his um, attack and his ninjutsu. Lightning Man and Samui. That'd be a pretty badass team right there. A lot of synergy, a lot of stuff going on there. This guy, uh, fourth Raikage would be the main amount of damage with the third Raikage being like right next to him, possibly causing more damage depending on how the fight turns out. Um, so that would be pretty pretty badass right there. Give them uh, give them life steal from the the um, the lightning main. Yeah, give them life steal from the lightning main, and that team would be fucking beast, absolute beast for sure. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry if it ran on a little long; had a lot to cover. Um, yeah, I'm back now. I'm making videos consistently again. We've got the internet back, so glad to see everybody back. Thank you all, everybody, for watching the whole way through the video. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out with the whole YouTube algorithm and everything. Hopefully, this video doesn't get uh, restricted monetization because YouTube's been really, really stupid recently. and <laughs> They've been restricting all my videos, but I don't have anything bad in them. Um, anyway, like I said, thank you, everybody. I hope you all have a great day. It's great to be back, and peace.